Hi everyone, my name is Mika and I'm here with Rebecca and Holly. We're human nutrition students at Winthrop University in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Throughout six lessons, we'll, we will be talking to you guys about how to eat healthy and nutrition. But before we discuss how you should be eating, it's important to make sure you know how to wash your hands. On our hands, we have these things called germs. They are very tiny creatures that can cause you to get sick. They are so small that you can't see them without a microscope. Germs are found everywhere and can be spread by touching others or items that others have touched, such as doorknobs or cell phones. I know it sounds kind of scary, but there are ways to get rid of them and to protect yourselves. One way is to cough and sneeze into the crook of your elbow instead of your hands. This contains germs and keeps your hands clean. Another very important way to protect yourself is to wash your hands. The main reason why we wash our hands is to get rid of germs, especially after touching other people or items that have been touched. So when do we wash our hands? Some situations in which you should be washing your hands include after using the bathroom, before making or eating food, after blowing your nose or coughing, after playing outside, and after touching workout equipment. Next, Rebecca is going to explain the steps of proper hand washing. Hey guys, are y'all ready to come wash hands with me? Absolutely. Yeah, let's go. Perfect. So all you need to make sure you have is a faucet, some hand soap, and some running water. Let's go. You're going to want to start off by turning the faucet on and making sure you lather your hands up with water. Now you are going to want to put soap on your hands. Here you're going to make sure you want to rub it into the palm of your hands. Next, make sure you get in between your fingers. Now you want to make sure you get your um, your fingers and your knuckles. Here you make sure you get your thumbs, make sure they are nice and clean. Here is where you make sure you clean your fingernails. Now rinse your hands and make sure that you grab a clean towel to dry your hands off and make sure you take the clean towel and use it to turn the faucet off. Wow guys, that was great, wasn't it? So it is important that you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. If you don't feel like counting, you can do a song. You can sing happy birthday twice, or you can say your ABCs, or if you really want to, you can do the chorus of the Baby Shark song. When we wash our hands, we actually forget a lot of places on our hands. Most commonly you would think you just need to wash right here, but that's not the case. You also need to make sure you're getting the back part of your hand. That is equally as important. And make sure you get in between your fingers because you do not want to let a germ stay alive. Mika did an amazing job of telling us when and why we wash our hands. Rebecca showed us how to wash our hands. Washing your hands is important because it can help prevent sickness. With COVID-19, it's caused an increase in the need to wash your hands. If you don't have access to a sink, you can use hand sanitizer as a second best option. But don't forget, you still need to rub your hands for 20 to 30 seconds. And don't forget those little spots in between your fingers. Washing your hands not only protects you, but those around you. Thanks for learning how to wash your hands with us. Next week, we'll show you how to build a colorful plate filled with amazing fruits and vegetables. Bye!